Hey guys, in this video I'll be replacing the rear axle bushings in the Jetta. The original bushings were deteriorating. I decided to replace them with urethane bushings to tighten up the rear suspension a bit. These bushings are made by Whiteline. I bought them from ID Parts. Notice how the bushings have two different sides. More on that later. Okay, let's get started. First I need to jack up the car and put it on jack stands. Then remove the rear wheels. Of course I couldn't put the jack stands anywhere on the rear axle beam because I'll be disconnecting it. So the jack stands need to go somewhere on the chassis. I'm not going to completely remove the axle beam, but I will need to lower it a little bit to get out the bushings. So the ABS wiring, the brake hoses, and the parking brake cables need to be detached from the axle beam. I didn't want to open up the brake hydraulics and have to bleed the brakes later. So instead of doing that, I cut slots in the mounting tabs for the brake lines. That allowed me to move the brake lines out of the way without having to undo any connections. Now we're ready to drop the axle beam. I put a floor jack under the middle to hold it up. Then I remove the mounting bolts. And down it goes. Once again, I'm not completely removing it. I lowered it just enough to get at the bushings. Here you can see why I'm replacing the bushings. They're pretty toasty. Now the real fun starts. There's a special tool for pressing out the bushings, but I decided not to buy it. I ended up regretting that decision. I fought with those bushings for a couple hours. First I knocked out the rubber center part. Then I made some cuts in the metal sleeve so I could pry them out. The metal sleeve on the original bushing has two pieces. So I cut and pried out the first piece, then went to work on the second piece. After lots of cutting and prying and hammering with a chisel, they finally came out. Next I cleaned out the rust with an abrasive wheel and some brake cleaner. Now we can press in the new bushings. It's a good idea to put some grease on the bushing and on the inside of the axle beam. That'll make things easier. Remember the urethane bushings have two different sides. The cone shaped part goes toward the inside of the car. The piece with the groove in the side goes toward the outside of the car. Make sure to grease the inside of the bushings also, and then press in the metal sleeve. I was able to press them in by hand, which was a pleasant surprise. Urethane bushings normally don't go in that easy. Now we're ready to reinstall the axle beam. The urethane bushings are pretty stiff, so pushing the axle beam back into place is more challenging. I had to use ratchet straps to pull it into place. Next we reattach the brake hoses and the cables and the ABS wiring and the axle beam is reinstalled. Last but not least, let's reinstall the wheels. Okay, that's it for this video. See you next time.